Hello, hello. Here we have a 4090 Founders Edition that came in for repair. We already disassembled the board. This one is coming from Justin, Temecula, California. Let's read what the customer wrote. The customer said, referral, YouTube, description, HDMI port is damaged on video card, needs to be repaired. Nice and simple. One sentence describes what we need to do. Let's take a look at the HDMI connector. We have three display connectors and we have one HDMI. Since the camera likes to focus on my eyes, on my pretty eyes, I need to do this, okay? So we have one HDMI connector on top here. And let's take a look under the microscope and see what's going on. The HDMI connector is damaged. And I did show this in the last video when I was working on a 4090. I told you that we have a video card that has a damaged HDMI connector that we need to fix. So today is the day. What does it take to replace an HDMI connector on a 4090? That's the HDMI connector, the bottom legs. Oh, what is this? It looks like somebody tried to maybe desolder it. That's solder. Somebody tried their soldering iron and the board did not flinch. That's a very thick board, 10 to 15 layers. I do not know how many layers, but it takes a lot of heat to desolder anything on that board. So a soldering iron on the hole here, on the pins, it's not going to do anything. The board is going to laugh in your face. And if we look at the front, see? Somebody tried to work on this. I see signs of solder here. And again, they tried to point the soldering iron here, and that connector laughed at that person. That's not how you do it. So how do you do it? Good question. We're going to start by preheating the board using my hot air station. And I'm currently using the latest and greatest Northridge Fix microscope. Just look at the image quality. Every time I use this microscope, I'm going to be talking about the image quality because I just can't help it. If you're in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, you can grab one off our site. Just log into northwitchfix.com, click on shop, add to car, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. The microscope does come with an optical lens, a zoom lens, two Barlow lenses. A GMI cable, a mouse, and what is the mouse for? I did slightly go over this microscope in yesterday's video, but I'm going to do a separate video going over all the features of this microscope because the microscope does have a measuring feature where we can measure components on the board. I'll tell you why that's important. So once you log into northridgefix.com, you can buy all your tools from there. Everything from soldering station, hot air station, thermal camera, flux, braidwick, tweezers, one-stop shop. We did the research for you, and that's what I use on my bench. Whatever I'm using on my bench here is what we carry and sell on our site. So now that we preheated the board, we're going to apply flux. And we cannot just remove the HMI connector. It's a multiple step process. We're going to apply low melt solder. And you can also purchase low melt on our site. And what we're going to do is this. Okay, just soak the holes with low melt. And you know what? My soldering station is off. But low melt melted because the board itself is hot. That's how low melt works. It melts at a very low temperature. So my soldering iron was off and low melt still melted because of the heat on the board. 
So now we are mixing low melt solder with unleaded, and the combination is going to yield a much lower melting point for those joints. Fume extractor on. You cannot forget the fume extractor, right? You can also purchase the fume extractor off our site, the Northwich Fix fume extractor. Comes with three filtration system. The HEPA filter, carbon filter, and the top layer filter to catch the big particles. Okay, so I'm out of low melt solder. Let me grab some quick. Low melt. It's something I use in almost every repair. I had a stick here and my tube. Both tubes are empty. Let me grab one quick. All right, and the tube comes with six sticks. So that's one stick right here. I'm only using maybe the tip of that stick. Now, I'm not using the anti-glare light yet. Let me just soak those holes. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing here. Now all we have to do is apply hot air and we should be able to remove that connector without risking damaging the pads under the HMI connector because we did apply low melt solder on the front pins. You have to work smart. That's an expensive cord. Now we're going to apply hot air. Right, so the pins are getting loose. And now I need to put my tweezer and grab that connector. Okay, right there. What's going on? What? 4090? Look at this. Somebody mailed a 4090 with... <laughs> Missing core and missing memory chip. Almost every day we got those cards in. People buy them thinking they are buying a good deal in hopes that they can fix it. They pay one, two, three hundred dollars for it and they think maybe I'll pay another three hundred dollars to get a working 4090. And we receive something like this no core, no memory chips, and this can only be used as a donor board. I have two videos mentioning why you should never buy used video cards. People do not listen. Now I need to remove solder from the holes. I'm going to be using an F dot sucker. I cannot fit it under the microscope, so I'm going to have to do it off the scope. All right. Let's check now. Are the holes clean? Beautiful. Now the good news is I have an OEM HMI connector pulled from another video card. So we're going to be using an OEM original that you cannot buy from anywhere else. And the connector is going to go just like that. Beautiful. Now the reason for all those holes 
is if you are using a different type of a connector, maybe the legs orientation is different. They made it in a way where you can use multiple types of HDMI connectors. If the connector has wide legs, you can still use that connector on the board. If the connector has maybe closer legs or wider legs or a different pitch legs, you can still use it. See the pin is all the way in, just making sure, all the way in, all the way in. Now before we solder it, I need to clean the board from the front. And you see how they have sets of pins in the front and set of pins in the back. We're going to be using this set of pins. But if you are using a different type of HDMI connector that pushes forward, then you can use this set of pins. It's nice. They made it universal. Look at that fit. It's an OEM original, so it's going to fit perfect. 100% perfect alignment. You cannot even tell the pin from the pad, right? Right, so that connector should be secured. Do not worry about the bridge for now. Just want to secure it, then we can spread solder evenly. All right, let's flip the board. And the reason I did the front first is because I want to make sure the pins are perfectly aligned with the pads. If I did the back first, then we may come back to the front and we may find some misalignments, pins and the pads. Okay, let me talk to her. Yeah. So you want to transfer Windows 10 data to Windows 11? Right. Do you already have Windows 11 or you want to... I'm going to be buying a computer. I'm starting to look online. Okay, so two elders came in. She's actually a customer. And she want to transfer files from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And I gave her some advice where to buy, what to buy. Very happy customer. So right now, the board was hot. Okay, now the board is cool, so it's going to take more heat to get the job done. Right, so I think it's time to use our empty glare light. Look at this beauty. If you have not purchased an empty glare light from us yet, our Northbridge Fix empty glare light, the all new empty glare light is back in stock. Okay, I showed it in yesterday's video right here the latest and greatest. I do have flux, but you do not see the reflections or the glare. Look at this. How amazing is that? Right, and we are done. We connected all the holes. They're all connecting to the same source. And if you throw that video card from a 10-story building, nothing is going to break this HDMI connector. 100% guarantee. Now, if you're doing this from the 11th floor, maybe. 
Look at this amazing job. Now we're gonna flip the board, finish the job. So we soldered the connector pin by pin. We could have also done it like I do PS5s and Xboxes where I pre-apply solder, I heat up from the bottom and the connector will get reflowed over the pads. And we are all done. All we need to do is double check on the pins, make sure everything is solid, solid. I mean, of course it's gonna be solid we went over the pin from top to bottom. Solder made its way all the way from bottom to top on the legs and the front pins are soldered on perfectly. Just the final cleanup using Kimtac wipes. Right there. And that's the back. Awesome. And all we have to do is quickly test to make sure HDMI is working. Then Big Boss can reassemble and he can do further testing. Right, so let's go ahead and plug the HDMI cable right here and of course if we turn the car down it's gonna shut itself off in two seconds because we do not have a heatsink or fan so what I'm going to do is just for the time being I'm gonna put a tiny heatsink on top of the GPU I just want to see an image so let's take a look at the monitor here you see how I have a tiny heatsink over the GPU Okay, I just wanted to turn on for a split second, then we can disconnect. Big Boss can reassemble and then he can test it further. So, one, two, and three. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see how long the cord will stay on on this tiny heatsink. Gone. That's it. It overheated. All right. So we are done. We are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.